What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are in the shop again today. Um, a lot of my OG subscribers know what this is. Um, this is my sister's 1981 CJ7. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of work to it today. Um, taking off the back uh, tires, taking off the front tires. It's going to be coating the frame and stuff. Just making it all uh, good and strong underneath. Um, it's got a 360 motor in it. Um, I told her she should probably just swap it for a 350. But we're going to be doing that today, so I figured I'd bring you guys along um, since we've been working on some truck stuff. Um, I'll probably go over to Chad's tomorrow and see if I can get a little bit of footage on the 79. But um, yeah, I figured I'd bring you guys along. We'll be jacking it up, taking off the rear wheels here, um, coating the frame with some truck bed liner and stuff just to make it look a lot nicer and cleaner under there. Get all that scaly rust and stuff off the leaf springs, um, as you can tell right there. And then I got to do a little bit of patchwork. Um, you guys will be able to see it right there in the same spot on the other side so figure i just bring the camera along and uh kind of go with it we're going to be uh, eventually painting this whole thing but um for now i'd like to basically just kind of get the whole underneath side undercoated for her um, before winter hits uh, we'll probably be doing the same thing to the front taking off front tires coating everything making sure it's all good to go but um anyway guys i'm going to go ahead and get my tools and stuff out and i'll bring you guys back So we got these uh, tires off guys, um, got it all jacked up on the jack stands. To get these top shocks off, we do have new shocks we're going to be putting on it, I forgot to mention that. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go in above these fuel lines right here, if you can see my finger, yeah right there. Um, the bolts on that side, so I'm going to have to probably come in from over top of the fuel lines, um, which might be a little bit of a pain, but the bottom ones will be simple to take out, because it's just down here, right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Get all these taken off. Um, probably leave these off while we're coating everything just so we don't get black um, all over the new shocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and get these buzzed off. It's not gonna be very interesting if, uh, taking them off, so I probably won't even record it. But um, once we get these off, I'll bring you guys back, show you we're gonna sand everything. Um, at least try and get a lot of this crustiness off like here and like here that flakiness get all that off and then we'll be good to coat it so i'm gonna shut you guys off uh, pick you guys up when we uh get back into it so stay tuned we got this rear shock off um it's been on there a while as you can tell there's no spring in it uh shock's supposed to come up um obviously when you take the new one out of the box and you cut that strap out the new one shoots up right away. Yeah, this one um, is completely junk. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's time to replace these. Um, they'll probably write a little bit better. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the other side taken off and then get the new ones on. And I'll see you guys shortly. Well, we got this all coated up in here nice and black. Got underneath of it all. Um, it looks way way better now we just need to <laughs> replace that exhaust the exhaust is probably the ugliest thing underneath this thing now but um when we go to redo the actual jeep like to repaint it and everything 
I'm actually going to be taking Raptor liner. It's basically a spray it yourself Rhino liner or Linex product. Um, super easy to use. I love it. Um, and I'll be spraying it all up in here. Um, I did it on my truck just to kind of sample it. I think I showed you guys that in a video or a few videos back. But I even hit back here. Um, got that side all done. Sorry for the air hose. But like I said, this exhaust, it's pretty ugly. I would probably spray paint it black, but it's just going to burn off. So there's no point unless you have high heat spray paint. And I don't. So I think it would look better if we had a chrome curved down tip anyway. But it's my sister's Jeep and I'm not sure what she wants to do. But on these spots that I will have to either weld in or fiberglass or do something with if you can see that one that one's bigger than the other side what i might do um because i don't think i'll be able to weld to that because it's got this matting to it and i don't feel like peeling all this up and eventually catching it on fire if i don't get it all up so i'll probably just lay a piece of metal down um maybe screw through it in a couple spots because underneath here i can come and cut the screw heads off and then lay a piece of fiberglass over top of it so it seals it tight and then i'll just coat the whole bottom of the tub in um, that raptor liner if i can get this rock out there we go no but coat the whole tub underneath um and the raptor liner will end up doing the whole complete frame but for now i just want to get those the back done, get the rear shocks put on just to clean it up a little bit. And then she's got new patch panels for here. And then we'll be fixing all this rust, taking off these hinges here, and just cleaning the Jeep up. Um, this is actually the first Jeep that I will be doing any body work on. I uh, helped a friend patch a frame on his like 90 style Jeep, but this is way older. Um, so it, it's going to be interesting. Like I said, you got the same spot on this side, but not as big, and then a little bit of rust down here. So it's going to be mainly just trying to make sure everything's straight. Like you can kind of see some ripples in there. Um, we'll take the flares off, get it all nice and straight and stuff. And then I'm not sure what color she's going to go with. She toyed up doing like gunmetal gray and then blue and black. I'm not sure. So whenever she decides, I'll let you guys know. But um, I got to let that stuff dry on the back. We'll get those new shocks put on, get the tires put on, and then we'll be good to go. So once we get that going, I'll bring you back, show you it, um, back it out in the sunlight so you guys can see it a little bit better. So, well, we didn't get the rear shocks put on because we kind of ran into a problem. I measured the length of these. They're like 20 and a half inches to where the old ones are like Rancho style or Skyjacker or something and they're like 22 and a half inches long. So I gotta go to O'Reilly tomorrow and pick the new ones up, exchange these ones, get them put on there. But we did get the inside of this fiberglass and the other side, so we'll be waiting for that stuff to dry. I can show you this side real quick. Waiting for that stuff to dry overnight. Um, I'll probably pick you guys up tomorrow um, when we get the new shocks, get them put on the Jeep here. And then that's basically, I think it's ready to rock and roll other than getting the front of this um, bad boy all painted up or uh, undercoated, I should say. Hit the frame, hit the front leaf springs and everything, hit some of the steering components. Um, I also hit the, the drive shaft for the rear, or the rear drive shaft, I should say. Um, it looks a lot better. It's way better than having it all rusty and stuff underneath there. At least it's got a, a protection over it now. Um, eh, it does what it needs to do. So I'll pick you guys up tomorrow when we go to get the new shocks and exchange those ones. So stay tuned. Well, it is the next day, like I told you guys. We have the shocks in the back. We are running to O'Reilly now to get the new ones, and then we'll be heading back to put the new shocks on 
and hopefully finish the Jeep up. So I'll pick you guys up when we get back to the house. We made it to the shop, guys. We have the new Ranchero shocks. That's what came off of it. So we're gonna be putting those back on. I don't know how well you guys will even be able to see this in here, but it looks a lot better um, with everything coated. So we're gonna get these the new shocks tossed on here, get the wheels and tires put on, and then I'll back it out so you guys can actually see what it looks like. I got this stuff in here fiberglassed. Um, it's still a little wet. So I'll probably have to back it out and let it sit in the sun just for, I mean, an hour or so. This side's a little bit drier, but stuff, uh, I mean, I love working with fiberglass on stuff like this because just trying to patch in here would have been kind of a pain because you have like the soundproofing and there's just a lot of stuff that could go wrong. Um, you could catch fire and the fiberglass is nice because I literally just cut a section out of that metal plating, diamond plating off of a tailgate right there and put it on both sides. And if you look up underneath, I mean, you can still see where the hole was, but when I go to undercoat this whole thing with the bed liner, you won't be able to tell. So it's nice. And then when we come back to do all our patchwork, um, I won't have to worry about any of this in here because it's not welded solid to the inside, which is nice. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and just um, get these new shocks put on and then I'll bring you back once we get it and tires put on and we're backing it out. Well, we got it all finished up there. I got the back tires and everything torqued down. Um, it looks a thousand times better. We got those Rancho shocks on there. Um, it's all undercoated. So my girlfriend, I think, is gonna end up taking it back up to my sister's house. Um, just looking at it from this uh, standpoint here, when you look in here, it doesn't have all the uh, nasty corrosion and surface rust. I, I'm a firm believer of just kind of keep your undercarriage clean. Um, even if it's just like, a, couple scan eh, excuse me couple cans of spray paint you just go in there and kind of scuff it up wash it real good and then come back with spray paint and clean it up anything's gonna be better than having that nasty rust um, I still have to hit like the side here on up but that will be a later date um, I just want to kind of get that back finish up get those shocks and stuff put on so you can tell it needs it up here but um, that'll be later date but um, that, that was a simple project guys you can do it at home um, the shocks weren't too terribly bad to change I know the shocks on my truck I had them changed in probably an hour hour and a half so any job like that you can do just make sure you you're you're using uh, jack stands and stuff like that when you're underneath of a vehicle if you have it up in the air uh, make sure you block the tire and everything just just be careful but um, anyway guys that's that video um, hope you guys liked it a little bit different than having like the 98 or something um, So anyway, remember learning as I do doing what I love. I'm the GMA and if you're new smash the subscribe button Hit the bell notification. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace